Human-like androids can elicit social responses from participants that only people were able to elicit before. So androids can provide a well-controlled experimental apparatus for testing theories about human brains and behavior, and a testbed for theories about how neural and cognitive processes influence behavior. This diagram tries to illustrate what android science is all about. So in social psychology, cognitive psychology, and cognitive neuroscience, there are a lot of hypotheses about human behavior. And we can implement these hypotheses in an android using engineering technologies and computer science technologies from artificial intelligence, pattern recognition control systems, material science, and so on. And look at the interaction with a human being and see how true to life it is. And the thing about embodying the behavior in the android is that if it doesn't me measure up, it's immediately apparent because of the uncanny valley. So if you have a robot-like robot, for example, Asimo walking around with legs bent, talking in a computer voice, hello, I am Asimo, then that's kind of normal for Asimo. We're not really disturbed by it. But if we have an android that looks very human-like, talk in a way that sounds robotic, that's strange, and we notice it. So we know to improve the system.